Hello High School Band, this is Miss Williams and I'm taking you through Canvas in week number two. All right, so this is the home page. We're gonna go to week number two, which is August 17th. You're gonna see this on your page and we've got our daily practice. So um, I noticed while we were online last year that some of us are not really practicing. Some of you don't practice at all. Some of you, when we started having to practice at home, didn't know how to practice and what you needed to do. And some of you had already been practicing very, very well. So um, now I'm gonna try to help everybody in their practice techniques and give you some really helpful tips to become a better musician. So first off, you wanna uh, stretch and we're gonna do some breathing gym. What's nice about this is nobody can see you, yay! So uh, you can stretch and make funny sounds and no one will ever know. Um, Usually we do these in class and we make lots of funny sounds, but it's okay and it's all in good fun. And it helps you as a musician stretching your lung capacity. So take a look. There are nine different videos here and you can pick and choose whichever ones you'd like to do. You can do one a day or more and these will help you uh, again in your breath control. Next, we're gonna to go to Habits of a Successful Musician. And it does say three through 10. So um, it's kind of asking for two stretches, maybe a stretch and then a breathing exercise. In our Habits of a Successful Musician, they tell you to do a stretch with your body and then do a breathing exercise. And that's even for the percussionists. So even percussionists do breathing exercises. All right, then you go to Smart Music and you'll hit your class. And you have lots of assignments here. I know it looks like a lot, but actually each of these assignments are very, very short. And it's um, one, one through 10, or the first two is stretch and breathe. Um, one through 10, that is your warm up. So it shouldn't take you too long to get through all of it. They're very quick. So we'll come to Smart Music. Once you're in Smart Music, you're gonna do three through 10 as your warm up. So number three is descending intervals. Number four is ascending intervals. Number five is a whole tone scale. Number six is down here. It's lip slurs for the brass players and it's triplet fingerings for the woodwinds. Uh, number seven is a scale pattern. And number eight is a chorale. Number nine is a rhythm practice. So I want you to be clapping and counting. And number 10 is sight reading. You're gonna give yourself about 60 seconds to look over it, time yourself. Don't forget key signature, time signature, accidentals, rhythms, and symbols like your dynamics and things. Um, and then dive in and see if you're able to play it. Then after you do your warm up, you can go to your concert music. We have several concert music pieces, Always United, Forever Strong. We have Dark Heart. And this week's playoff is our Kingsland Spring for movement one of Gregorian Suite. So we're actually playing just a mini part of that. It's right up here at the top. Um, and you'll practice that first. Do not send me your very first playing of this uh, playoff. I don't want to hear it. I want you to play it every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, if it sounds almost perfect, get ready. And then Friday, I want you to pick the very best recording. I would take, I would actually make a recording every single day of the week, every day. And then I'd wait until Friday and pick the very best one that I sound in. I would not uh, just send the very first one. I think that's often what we do when we're practicing too. We play it correctly once and we think that's enough. And we don't practice to get it right. We practice so we can't make a mistake and get it wrong. So we need to start um, playing a little bit more every single day. All right, um, if you've forgotten how to submit your uh, songs through Canvas, there's a video here to share with you how to do that. I also want you to look on Smart Music and see if you can find a solo. Um, Smart Music has a lot of music available and there are some new features coming out. There's even a printable uh, feature coming out. I'll, sh I'll share more about the printable fe feature soon. Um, but there are some solos that you could print your, out your own music and play with.
If you're interested in district, I'm not sure if it's happening or not, but I do have the scales. Uh, scale sheets are right here. All you'd have to do is pick your instrument and uh, make sure that you're paying attention to the grade level because it is 11 and 12 together and 9 and 10 together. So um, take a look at that. You can print those off if you want the solos. Uh, and you want to practice the all district solos, there's 9, 10, and 11, 12. I know the first page here looks like it's really old. Um, it says 2011, 2012. They actually use the same solos and just rotate them, so that's why that page is there. Okay, um, this week we are also going to have Google Meets, so pay attention to where you are on the chart. You're going to go to that Google Meet here. You're just going to click Google Meet and join. So uh, make sure that you're ready for that. Let's go back. All right, so there are different instrumental sections every day. And flutes are first, okay? For reeds, you are Tuesday. High brass, that includes French horn and, and trumpets. You guys are Wednesday. Uh, Thursday's low brass. And percussion is Friday. Um, so, smart music, O King's Lynn Springs right here. And the last thing I want to share with you is that we are going to have some music theory lessons. Sometimes it's going to be a game like we saw earlier last week. Sometimes it will be a video and it'll be some questions with the video. So that's what it is this week. You're going to watch the video on simple and compound time and then you're going to answer some questions. You get two attempts, I think. Um, so anyway, that is week number two. If you have any questions, I'm just an email away. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic week this week. And I look forward to seeing you online. Bye, guys.